here we go. Okay, so I, I'll start with um, with XRP, yeah. And here we are in the consolidation. And uh, you can see we've, looks like we've topped out on the resistance level and we're, we're in a reversal pattern at the moment. Um, and this is on the one hour. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just dragging out a little bit, but not much, not much different than this. Um, so let's go into it in a bit more detail, yeah. Um, potentially, what I'm what I'm looking at now is that we're going to head down here and then continue on down, yeah. And the reason why I'm suggesting that, and I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit first. So potentially we're doing a a one, two, three, and another leg down, yeah, and possibly. It's on a grander scale where we're also potentially doing it from here where it's a one, two, and then three down, three down further, yeah. Um, so some of the targets, uh, actually I'll show you targets a different way. But that's what I'm that's that's what I'm that's what I'm mindful of is the one, two, three here uh, could take us down uh, maybe to uh, a 31 target or so, do a bit of a retrace, and then potentially a drop down to um, the range, I'd say between 26 and 20, 20, 2250, maybe 25, 2250, another retrace, and then a potential drop down to. Uh, 18 or 19 cent, yeah. It really, it, it really depends on on whether it's going to be just a one, two for here, which would be mid 20s, or we're going to get this bigger one playing out and take it down, take it down further, yeah. So let's have a look uh, at this here, yeah. So just as a as a reminder, is on the macro zoomed out, is that the pattern. On the previous bull runs and bear runs are still playing out. This pattern is playing out with a final drop of uh, 68%. Uh, rejection off the red line here and then one final push down before the lift. Same here and we are seemingly in the process of the final drop down before, before the lift. And if this is the case, you can see the rejection on the red line here, rejection red line here, another 67 to 68% drop. Is looking at taking us down to about 18, 18 cent 300, yeah, uh, uh, 18,296. It's not even 300, I can't say that. Um, this is bits of a cent. Um, so now the process with which it takes us down there is it's mimicking this process, it's mimicking this drop very, very similarly, yeah. Um, so just even with the zoom out here, take this out of the way this out of the way. We're in this process which I'm going to zoom into in a, in, a, in a moment is we get a drop to around uh, the 31 or so, a little retrace and then if you look at this potentially we could be looking at a drop to somewhere in the mid mid 20s, uh, a lift and then a final drop down to, uh, to 18 or so. Yeah, So that's the potential process that that we're looking at here. So on this one here is we have a we get the drop, the initial drop down, the sideways, the drop again, one more lift up, and then the final drop down, taking us down to again around 18 or so. 60, 68 and a half percent here is uh, 79932. So now that's 68.5. So we can go as far, let's say, pull it back up to 67 and a half. So it's in, it's in and around there from the top here. Pull it down. 67 is 18 and a half. 67 and a half is 18 two. 68 is 17 eight or so. Yeah. So you can see you can see what 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 I'm thinking, and it is is. 
it's this this consolidation phase here is is following this it's following this one uh, this one here uh, quite closely yeah um, so if I zoom in you can see the drop here the lift three days down and then five days up now where it changes is that it went up here it went up see the level here is it took five days to get back up here where it took two days to get back to the top here where we are at the moment reversing reversing at the moment however is where we are now there's an actual an extra drop down so let me show you and the reason i keep coming back to it is because it's very 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 similar so as long as it keeps holding form so here we are yeah so now the previous pattern is didn't have this wick first so look we've got an extra wick here then the drop then the retrace back up three days down two days up so the whole process took 11 days previously and we are on one two three four five six seven eight so we're on eight nine days so far so a day a day either way doesn't really matter yeah so we could be in a situation where uh, it takes most of today to to get this to turn and we get the real move happening tomorrow and that would be about 10 days yeah um, and that we don't break this this level and that we're, 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 we're looking to head down yeah potentially there could be a lift up to 42 but I, I don't think so but I'm mindful that it's a possibility yeah and um, so now um, so there's this here let me just put this back in place there we go um, now i want to show you this one just as a a talk through potential yeah is you can see my my big chart here all these lines uh and the two i'm going to point out that they, these are all these are all the, the price history of xrp from oh, from the very beginning yeah so all these lines are are are, are confirmed and confirmed mul multiple times over over the history of of uh, xrp yeah so this yellow line here, literally, this is the this is the dump, the final dump before the pump of the first uh, bull and bear market for for XRP. Yeah, uh, and in many ways, this one here is is mimicking where we are now. Look, you got this lift, is you got a drop, you got another lift, you got a, a drop and a sideways, one final dump and a, and, a, and a lift. But look 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 at this look at this support here, yeah, on this yellow line, and then look at this drop. To this yellow line so literally this is the this is the, the bottom the lowest support line that you can actually actually find uh, ascending support line that you can find for xrp in its in its history yeah so now you can see the same playing out here remember this lift drop lift drop sideways final drop so look here's the lift lots of sideways here is here's another lift but doesn't break the previous high here's another drop the sideways here as much as uh, I need to zoom in now so remember those two yellow lines so these yellow lines are all parabolic moves that when when you break one of these lines it's a big move okay so now we're just after we broke this line dropping in here we broke this yellow line here we're, we've back tested it a couple of times we've back tested it a couple of times once we are back tested it yesterday and potentially is when this drops we're going to come down onto this yellow line here which at the moment give it 10 days out and it's about 2270 it's 22 and a half at the moment yeah now <coughs> excuse me uh, we could be looking at breaking the breaking it a little bit so we could end up dropping down uh, finding ourselves heading down a little lower a little lower onto one of these lines yeah um, and if I just take from the top here, here, and do 68, 60, so let's say 67 and a half, 60, there's 67 and a half there, could maybe take us down onto this blue supporting line here, yeah. Um, one of these guys, we could get a break, we could get a wick through, yeah. You get what I'm saying anyway. Uh, but definitely this yellow line looks like it it could be a potential target um, so <coughs> excuse me uh, so
so now um one of the things i'm looking at with regards price action now and what's going on is i'm going to zoom in just for a moment this is the five minutes so the five minutes after breaking we're at the top i'm zoomed right in now so we're, we're, we're at this potential reversal pattern here yeah um so here's the five minute ema after after breaking um, what we're looking for for a bit of a bit of a bigger push down is the 15 minute break is looking looking to see now see the 15 minutes after breaking there uh and we'll see if we get a back test and then a, a continuation yeah um is when i zoom out to the four hour is you can see that the 55 ema in the four hour is being resistance at the moment when i zoom out to the 12 hour is you can see the 20 on the 12 hour has been resistance and look at the look at the the crossing the spill here was on the crossing of the emas on the 12 hour so now one of the reasons why i'm thinking potentially there could be a, a lift to 42 is that when you get the spill often there's a back test to the to the 55 but now maybe that's already complete because of the four hour look the four hour crossed over there's the spill there's the back test to the 55 so possibly this is this is what i'm thinking excuse me is that this back test is already complete if this holds we get the push down and it goes for a continuation down yeah if it wanted to go higher again it could be working on the 12 hour but i don't i don't think that's the case and i'll show you on the ma's in, in, in shortly yeah and um, when i look at the the daily look, the daily's crossed over and the 20 is heading down pretty fast on the daily now yeah um, and then equally on the two day, the two day is about to cross over. So quite possibly that when this two day crosses over tomorrow, it looks like it's going to cross over tomorrow. Again, that could help trigger, trigger the push down, yeah, uh, potentially. Uh, and what we need to see is the yellow, the VWAP turn down. So I think when the VWAP turns down next on the two day is, I think that might be the, might be when it really starts to kick off. So I'll go back to the previous. Here we go here, yeah. Oh, the VWAP is, oh, the VWAP is there. So this is on the two day. And in the same place here, look, here's the VWAP coming up. This is the previous pattern. When the two day turns is, look, we'll get, we'll get that spill, yeah. Uh, equally, equally on the, equally on the one day, yeah. Um, where are we now? Do the one day as well just have a look so you can see on the one day is you can see the vwap has gone sideways here where we are right now yeah if this does a decent drop down today the vwap will pull down with it yeah it maybe maybe it might need to take until to tomorrow maybe and then if we zoom back to the previous pattern again look at that sharp turn on the on on on, on the vwap so I reckon the next time the VWAP takes a proper turn down on the daily or the two daily is it looks like we're very close to, uh, it looks like we're coming to, to the drop, yeah. And then again, as you can see, what I'm talking about is potentially a drop to 31 or so, another day or two of a retrace, and then a bigger drop down potentially. You see, you see if this drop lands at 26, I reckon we're going to come up and head down to 22 and a half. You see if this drop here lands at 23, then we're gonna have a lift up and I believe we're coming down to 19. So when we get our first big spill down, this will, I think this will very clearly tell me uh, where the bottom is. So is the bottom at 22.50 or so, or is the bottom closer to 18 or 19, yeah? Um, 20 or so, so that, that this drop will tell me. Um, so so that, will be, that, will be, that will be, I think, a very clear indicator. Um, and again, because it's following this, so same thing, but the different um, is I'm mindful, I'm mindful of uh, this information as it goes along. Yeah. Now you can see on the on the daily, this crossing of the, the EMAs was part of the trigger of the spill here. Yeah. Uh, so was the so was the two day. See the two day. Look at the crossing here, and then down it went. Now on this one, again, same same but different. The, the two day hasn't crossed. And again, I'm mindful that 
uh, I'm mindful that it's it's up here and price action is down here where previously price action and the EMAs were much closer t together yeah um, and there's the daily See, the daily is already after crossing uh, crossing here yeah so so I'm just mindful that possibly there could be a lift of 42 I don't think so I'm just mindful of it so now <clears throat> why do I not think that uh, that's likely to happen uh, so I'll show you now is this is the daily these are the, the mix of the MAs and the EMAs and the SMAs um, here's the 200 look at the 200 on the on the daily so here it is breakthrough back test sideways uh, another it didn't touch the 200 here <coughs> excuse me uh, but it's been it's been resistance equally you've got these guys the 111 the 100 and the 144 weighted uh, WMA uh, all all as resistance and look you have the, the 20 EMA on the daily cutting through here so there's an awful lot of an awful lot of pressure coming down um, uh, as as resistance uh, now I did mention before that on the daily this is the 50 SMA that when it breaks the 50 SMA and the daily that there will be a back test to it and then if it gets rejected it comes down so that's that's part of it could pop up to 42 or a little bit more before it heads down um, but again I'm, I don't think so but I'm just mindful that it might um, but as it stands it looks like this is heading into reversal now and I might want to drop if it just drops down uh, a short a short amount it drops down to a 36 turns around and starts to head back up then it looks like we're heading for a 42 or so and then a head down yeah so again same 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 but different and um, the reason why I don't think it's gonna go up again is that look one two three four five six seven eight nine nine days so far the previous consolidation took 11 days and the 11th day it went down so does price action have the time to come down here then take a day or two to get up here, take a day or two to turn around and start heading back down, is we'd start, we'd be slipping into, to, uh, I don't know, 14, 15 days uh, for for the consolidation. And uh, this to me looks more like it's it's getting ready to, to head down, yeah? So so that's that's my logic, yeah? That's, that's my logic. Um, is, let me see, I have all the pages I wanted to point out here. Is there another one here? Um, uh, this is the stock at the moment. Uh, you can see there's a fair bit of a push down now. Five bottom top top left. Five minutes back up. It's only the five minute. Fifteen is at the bottom here. Is it can stay here for a bit, but we'll need to take a breather. Half an hour was pushing down. Look, the the hour was up and needs to push down again. Now this is where this can get a bit misreading at times. You get the hour is taking it's the on the on the reversal here over the days it's look the hours after getting pulled back to the bottom so you see this little lift here and you think oh my god it's at the bottom it's gonna have to go all the way back up this this could push down back here again and the drop the the, the reversal all this effort to reverse it this lift up this drop here could be a much bigger drop in price action uh where the 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 stock just comes down here yeah so that that can be a bit misleading at times so yes, the one hour is going to have to head up at some point, but there could be more significant drop in price action, and then this can come come back up without price action coming up so high. Yeah? Equally, the two the two hour you can see the two hour is is part of the reversal process, getting that reversal to 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 to, to swing swing around. Yeah, uh, you can see the three hour is starting to come back from the overbought, four hour is still up there. This is the day. This one's the daily. So let's do the. Let's have a look at how the six, the, the other hours are. There's the, there's the six hour starting to top out. So we needed these guys now. These ones we needed them to start to turn. Yeah. Here's the eight hour looking like it wants to start to to, to turn. And we needed these. These guys were pushing up. There's the nine hour. We we need these guys to start swinging, swinging around and be willing to start to come back down again. Again. There's the ten. And again, here's the here's the twelve hour. So when the twelve hour turns again in two hours, again it'd be nice to start to see this start to to, to, to come around, you know. Um, and then there's the daily. There's the daily looking like it, it could be willing to come down again, yeah. 
And then when we look at the weekly, just to keep that in there as well, look, the weekly has already been coming down for the last uh, couple of weeks. So this is definitely ready for a, 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 a correction back to the bottom. There, it looks like we could be getting our final, our final spill out of this, yeah, um, to the bottom. That's what it seems like, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me just put these back. Now. Okay. Uh, no, that's it. So now let me just let me just zoom in and look at specifically the trade here yeah I've already posted this so most of us are probably already in a short so on the one hour when I zoom in when I zoom in is here's the drop so there's the range and we put the fib on from the bottom to the top and we're looking for a 702 entry which looks very sweetly it's after giving it to us twice at 39.18 and the top here is 39.88 so what we want to do is go just a little bit above that so 39.88 is let's say 40 40 as our stop loss and again uh, I would have had targets down here I would have had targets down down here just pull this down here. Uh, target of uh, the range the 702, 3422 to 3360 to 786. However, I'm I'm gonna hang on in there because I believe that we're gonna actually be coming down. Yeah. I think we're gonna start breaking out of this. So the initial uh, range of this is if you start looking at if you start looking at again from look from top, and the top is up here, to the bottom down here, so when it stretches out a little bit more, um, is if I start looking at a, a 1618, is there's 266, 1786 is 255, so there's a, there's a range potentially that we're looking at. If it wants to do something more impulsive, is the 2272 down here at 226. So remember what I was saying about the, <clears throat> we could get a push down uh, and possibly we get a push down to somewhere 31 back, back to the base here, get a little, a little lift, so maybe a 0 0.5 lift and then a push down again. And again, depending on where this first push goes. So if we get a push to, uh, let's say a, a 1.414, it drop down to 28, so it breaks, it breaks the lower low here. This white line is the lower low. It breaks a little low, yeah. Does it lift up is potentially we're probably looking at a bottom of around, uh, well, actually, if, if it goes to the 1618, excuse me, because I think we're at least going to 22, 22 and a half, yeah. So I think if we if we get a drop down to um, the 1618 or so, around 26, uh, 20, 26 and a half, 26, is I think we're going to get another lift up and then one more one more push down uh, potentially to uh, potentially to the 2272, two, yeah. Uh, however, if we get a much stronger push down where we get our drop here, we get a lift, we get another push down, if it starts to get anywhere close to the 272 uh, as a as a as a drop on the daily is I think we're going to get another lift for a couple of days and then another push down and we're going to start to head down to maybe uh, a 2618 at 21 or 2786 at uh, 1984 uh, if we really wanted to push it at 3272 down here at 17 and a half yeah and um, so you can see you can see where I'm thinking so very simply is we I think we're going to get a, a drop, a retrace, a drop, a retrace, and a drop. So that's 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 what I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, so I think the second drop down is going to be very telling about where the final drop is. So 
So there you go. So you, you know, you know, I'm thinking. Um, so, so that's it. So I'm looking to stay in this position and, uh, to see if this wants to break out. I definitely don't think that it's going to come all the way down to here and then head back up again. It doesn't, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that time in it yet. Uh, could it do an initial drop, a turnaround and then head up to 42? Uh, it, it might do, it might do that, but again, I don't think so because of the daily resistance is, is very strong. Um, and that it just looks like it's being held and it's just ready to, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. So that's that's what it looks like to me, yeah. And no doubt is is maybe some news will appear to to promote this dump. We can associate it to it. Again, back to the question of which comes first, chicken or the egg. Is this gonna go down anyway? And that something in the next uh, day or two comes out that just just makes the market tank. And we go, oh, it's because of this or Maybe it's just because uh, the algorithm is working on a very specific pathway, and that you know it just the market makers are going to take it here anyway to clear out the market, so that it gets the sheds sheds the dead weight so to speak, and then it can start to move up again because that's the way it works, and that's the way it works at the moment. Um, I think just the last thing I'm going to say. Uh, I think potentially. The crypto market could be moving into a different cycle pattern. Um, oh, this is going to be the full one. Is I'll go to this one. Okay, I'll just zoom out to a week. Um, all the the shit show that's going on at the moment with with uh, exchanges is if you look at the cycle here and this cycle here, we've got one one cycle two cycles, so XRP has only been in two bull runs. Two bull runs. It's third bull run. I think this whole next bull run is gonna be all about utility. Uh, regulation, utility, and a serious pump. To get it, a serious pump like this, is is this a speculation? This is speculation of est establishing itself. Is this next pump? Uh, can't work on speculation because the serious money needs to come in. The trillions and trillions needs to come in to really pump the whole, the whole market. And those trillions are not going to come in until uh, the market stops being the Wild West. So therefore, regulation is going to need to come in. And then also is the, the trillions, the, the, the real market's going to come in when it becomes about utility rather than speculation. So you can imagine the guys that, that really, really work, really control the, 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 the world economy is they, they don't want to come in when it's just speculative. They want to come in when it can actually be really applied on a global scale. So this is, what, this is what's being said. This, this cycle here is getting that set up. So the, the financial system is now going through an upgrade. So, and I do believe the XRP at Ripple, Ripple Ledger is going to be a, a, a central role, play a central role. Well, the, the XRP Ledger is going to play a central role in that. And that is what is going to pump XRP in the next in the next bull run, and it will be about uh, utility, not speculation. Is real world use, and one of the one of the few companies uh, in this space that actually is really being applied on a re real world use is the Ripple Ledger. Um, so so this is it. I I suspect that XRP will be one of the the leaders of the next bull run is it will be one of the ones that will kick off and and be the the starter the starter gun for for the next bull run um and i think it's going to be a very special pop uh, anyway so so that's what i'm thinking uh but before that we need to have a wipeout we need to have our our 67 68 percent clear out Get a bounce off this line here, and then and then head on up. Yeah, and we are traveling along. Look at this blue line here. We're traveling along this blue line uh, potentially as well. Yeah. Um, so look at the bottom here. See the bottom. See this. This is the bottom of the original market. Look at this. Look at this here. Look at this blue line here, and potentially this is the bottom of this market. Boom, and then up we go. So so we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Yeah. 
Um, so, so that's it for now. If you're looking for a shorter trade, I think the range here for a target is 34.50, uh, 33.90, somewhere, somewhere around there. Yeah. If you want to stay in for the longer one, is then, you know, you know, we map it out as we go along. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's me for now. And maybe one last thing. Last thing I'm going to say um, is how long. How long? If we're going to stay in this for the longer for the longer play, yeah. Um, how long are we looking at? Um, well, let's assume this is going to drop in the next two days, yeah. Just if I'm right, if I'm right in what I'm saying, yeah. And it's it's following same same, same same, but a little different from the previous one. Let's just count the days on the previous one. So we just have an an idea, so we can we can mentally map it out, yeah. So let's say we've got today and another day here, so two days. There's another drop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So potentially is this bottom could be within the next seven to 10 days, if it follows same, 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 yeah? Um, so there we go, so, so that is a trade well worth uh, sitting in on, on, yeah? Now with regards, this is definitely the last thing I'll say, um, is with regards my DCA is I'll wait for this drop, and then get a little retrace for a couple of days. When I start to see this spill again, I will DCA in here in a serious way. And I'll look to just catch this drop. And then I'll look for this lift. And when I start to see this dropping down, I will DCA in again here. Um, and that's that's where I'm looking to do it. But I will only do it when I see this spill happening. See if the bottom's out here. When I see a break in this bottom, it's the, that's when I will DCA. Um, where this one here is... Again, I'll, I'll probably wait till I see this bottom and, and, and DCA in as well, yeah, and just catch that final run. So, so that's me. That's me. Um, let's see what's going to happen over the next next week to ten days. Good morning, guys. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna be quite short today because there's there's not too much to talk about. Um, I'm just gonna show you what's holding this back. Um, Yesterday I was saying that we are we might be testing the previous local low here for uh, Bitcoin. It's sixteen thousand two hundred. For Ethereum, it's the previous um, eleven seventy. Eleven seventy. Yes, eleven seventy. Eleven hundred seventy. Um, we've done a double top pattern for both of them. Um, here is Ethereum's and here is, um, I'll show you Bitcoins, here is Bitcoins, so um, that's on the 4 hour but I'll show it to you on the 1 hour. There it is, double top, double top, triple top, however you want to you wanna look at this. This is, um, yesterday we were looking and I was telling you that in order to see this lift we need to break the previous the previous high and we didn't break it um, on the contrary we broke the support which is the 50 on the one hour but what's holding it which is the point that I was trying to make um, it's the 20 on the four hour so here it is the midline of the Bollinger is holding this can this be a one two three four five yes it can what do we need for that we need the breaking of the previous high at 17 140 150 for Bitcoin I don't personally think that will happen. I think everything that happened here is pushing down. Um, I'm gonna go to the uh, hourly levels now. The stochastic on the one hour is pushing down, but the the the, the regular RSI is, still has a little bit of space to go. On the four hour, however, we're turning down, and I do believe this is a four hour four hour move. So we might be coming uh, down on the four hour and. Um, testing the previous the previous low that's what I think will happen now there is news today there's the CPI at 1.30 UK time so in case you're wondering uh, why is the market ranging it there it's waiting for that there was a PPI uh, some PPI information yesterday but nothing major happened there was slightly some volatility little push up and then a back uh, a retrace but I think the the market's ranging for the news today. 
So uh, long story short, uh, we have the 20 MA on the four hour and also on the day, we have the five um, which are holding price action for support. So that's, it's, it's, um, this is what, this is what's holding um, currently. And once the five on the day or the 20 on the four hour um, collapse as support, then we're looking to uh, retest the previous low. 16,200, 16,200 for Bitcoin or maybe a little bit lower around the 15, um, 15,800 area, 15,800 area, somewhere around here. Um, but that's, that's, that's where we are. Um, again, there's a little bit of contradictory information between the one hour and the four hour because the four hour stock is pushing down the one hour is at the bottom so we might be seeing some sideways to rehabilitate the one hour that's generally what sideways does it rehabilitates the, the lower time frames and then we might be seeing the push um so that's to me the more likely scenario is the push down we didn't we had plenty of chances yesterday we had one two okay i'll count the higher highs on the four hour so we had one, two, three higher highs on the four hour, 12 hours of putting in higher highs and none of them could break the previous high. So I'd say our chances for that are done and now we're going to come down and, and, and build a solid base, which is very healthy. So it's uh, again, this is not the confirmation of um, this is not a confirmation of a third leg down. It's just consolidation in this particular range um, in this in this 15 minute arc. 15 minutes slash an hour it's harder for me to define the interval when there's bigger volume in ethereum is in a similar space um, but it has lost the support of the four hour um, 20 ma so ethereum ethereum is below this and uh, the 50 is pushing down the five is pushing down so it looks like it it's at least going to come down to the bottom of the bollinger at 1200 maybe test again the 1170 somewhere around here and again that would be a solid base for a bigger lift if if that's the plan i don't believe that's the plan i believe the plan is to do a third leg down um we don't have support for ethereum on the one day in terms of the main ma's the five is not holding it as it is for bitcoin so um, if I am to look at the previous uh, lower uh, low, lower hit, um, 1170, as I said, and then um, 1070, 1070. So that would be the range, the sideways range. Of course, if we break, if we break the 1070, uh, and again, um, here, if, if you're watching this, watch to see what the stochastic on the four hour is doing, because that will tell us uh, how momentum is. Again, we have a bit of contradictory information because the one hour is flat down uh, at the bottom for the, for the stochastic and the four hour is just back into the box, which generally uh, has a tendency to, to push it down to the bottom. So I would be watching to see uh, where the stochastic is when it hits the 11 70 and if there's still space to push it down i would hold um, the short open or secure profit if you can move also your stop loss to secure profit in case you fear the the, the volatility um, we do have like if we're looking if we're looking at the volume i was telling you that um here's here's where volume started kicking in with this lift um here's the volume the sideways volume that we used to have for consolidation and here it is now so you can see there's a little bit more more oomph in the volume a bit more similar to what was happening here so again if you if you um watch this on the 15 minute and see a double bottom and feel that okay it's it might be bottoming out um it could because here's the amount of swings it did before moving either way on the four hours so it did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen swings up and down on the four hour huge consolidation for ethereum um i'm not saying this has the time to do that and not with the fundamentals that we're in 
But if you, um, instead of just closing a, a short position too early, because we are in a downtrend and short positions do have the potential to give us a lot of profit, instead of closing it too early, you might want to secure the profit with a stop loss. Just to, again, just to uh, uh, ensure that you are still giving it space to move down and show itself. So here's, um, there's again, that's that's me, that, that was probably very fast because there hasn't been really too much action going on um, over the past day. There is again news coming out at 1.30 and that's why probably the market is ranging at the moment. Um, Ethereum is looking a little bit more precarious than Bitcoin because it's lost the daily and the four hourly support. Bitcoin still holding it. Um, a, Bitcoin does have the tendency to move the smallest compared to alts uh, in these drops, but I believe they're all coming down at least to test the previous low, if not to test the initial low of the drop. Um, I would be following it to that to that um, place, especially for especially for Ethereum because Ethereum has only done a 0 0.5 retracement of this. Um, where was it? Uh, here, there we go. Uh, this was the zero. Mm, no, sorry. Uh, here it is. On the on the previous one hour swing, the um, the retracement was a golden pocket. Sorry, not a not a zero point five. Um, so that's that's it. Um, I'll post this up on the chats and uh, let me know if you have any questions. As the day progresses, I'll post updates if there are any. Thank you guys.